Anaconda update all possible packages? I tried the Conda search outdated, there are lots of outdated packages, for example the SciPy is 0.17.1 but the latest is 0.18.0. However, when I do the Conda update all, it will not update any packages. Update 1 Update 2 I can update those packages separately. I can do conda update SciPy. But why I cannot update all of them in one go? TL, Doctor, Dependency Conflicts, Updating One Requires, By Its Requirements, To Downgrade Another. You are right is actually the way to go on. Kondo always tries to upgrade the packages to the newest version in the series, say Python 2.x or 3.x. Dependency conflicts. But it is possible that there are dependency conflicts, which prevent a further upgrade. Kondo usually warns very explicitly if they occur. For example x requires y, 5.0. So Y will never be as greater than or equal to 5.0. That's why you cannot upgrade them all. Resolving. Update 1, since a while, Mamba has proven to be an extremely powerful drop-in replacement for Conda in terms of dependency resolution and, Eve experience, find solutions to problems where Conda fails. A way to invoke it without installing Mamba is via the solver equals Lamamba flag, requires Conda Lamamba solver as pointed out by Mateo in the comments. To add, maybe it could work but a newer version of X working with Y is greater than 5.0 is not available in Conda. It is possible to install with pip, since more packages are available in pip. But be aware that pip also installs packages if dependency conflicts exist and that it usually breaks your conda environment in the sense that you cannot reliably install with conda anymore. If you do that, do it as a last resort and after all packages have been installed with conda. It's rather a hack. A safe way you can try is to add conda forge as a channel when upgrading, add C conda forge as a flag, or any other channel you find that contains your package if you really need this new version. This way Conda does also search in this places for available packages. Considering your update, you can upgrade them each separately, but doing so will not only include an upgrade but also a downgrade of another package as well. Say, to add to the example above, X is greater than 2.0 requires Y is lower than 5.0, X is lower than 2.0 requires Y is greater than 5.0. So upgrading Y is greater than 5.0 implies downgrading X2 is lower than 2.0 and vice versa. This is a pedagogical example, of course, but it's the same in reality, usually just with more complicated dependencies and sub-dependencies. So you still cannot upgrade them all by doing the upgrade separately, the dependencies are just not satisfiable so earlier or later, an upgrade will downgrade an already upgraded package again. Or break the compatibility of the packages, which you usually don't want, which is only possible by explicitly invoking and ignore dependencies in force command. But that is only to hack your way around issues, definitely not the normal user case. One if you actually want to update the packages of your installation, which you usually don't. The command run in the base environment will update the packages in this, but usually you should work with virtual environments, conda create in my app and then conda activate my app. Executing conda update all inside such an environment will update the packages inside this environment. However, since the base environment is also an environment, the answer applies to both cases in the same way.
to answer more precisely to the question. Kanda, which is Kanda for Minikanda as for Anaconda, updates all but only within a specific version of a package, major and minor. That's the paradigm. In the documentation you will find note, Kanda updates to the highest version in its series, so Python 2.7 updates to the highest available in the 2.x series and 3.6 updates to the highest available in the 3.x series. Doc. If Wang does not gives a reproducible example, one can only assist. For example is it really the virtual environment he wants to update or could Wang get what he or she wants with? Please read the docs before executing update all. This does not lead to an update of all packages by nature. Because Conda tries to resolve the relationship of dependencies between all packages in your environment, this can lead to downgraded packages without warnings. If you only want to update almost all, you can create a pin file. Before running the update, conda issues not pinned. If later on you want to ignore the file in your end for an update, you can do. You should not do update all. If you need it nevertheless you are safer to test this in a cloned environment. First step should always be to back up your current specification. But even so there is not always a link to the source available, like for JupyterLab extensions. Next you can clone and update. Conda config. Update. Currently I would use Mamba or MicroMamba, as Conda PKG Manager replacement. Update. Because the idea of Conda is nice but it is not working out very well for complex environments I personally prefer the combination of Nix Shell, or Lori, and Poetry, as superior pip slash Conda. Dash, intro poetry to Nix. Alternatively you can use Nix and Mock Nix, where you only need your requirements file. It resolves and builds environments best. On Linux, Macos you could use Nix like. To enter an environment that has for example in this case Python 3.7, for sure you can change the version. Or as a very good Python, advanced environment you can use mock nix with nix like which even supports conda but currently in beta or via api like Finally if you really need to work with packages that are not compatible due to its dependencies, it is possible with technologies like Nixos slash NixPKGS. Imagine the dependency graph of packages, when the number of packages grows large, the chance of encountering a conflict when upgrading slash adding packages is much higher. To avoid this, simply create a new environment in Anaconda. Be frugal, install only what you need. For me, I installed the following packages in my new environment. Pandas. Scikit-learn. Matplotlib. Notebook. Keras. And I have 84 packages in total. I agree with Mayu36. For example, 
I was doing the mistake to install new packages in the base environment using Conda for some packages and PIP for some other packages. Why this is bad? One dot none of this is going to help with updating packages that have been greater than installed more than from PIPI via PIP, or any packages installed using Python setup.py install. Conda list will give you some hints about the PIP based Python packages you have in an environment, but it won't do anything special to update them. And I had all my projects in the same one environment. And I used update all which is bad and did not update all. So, the best thing to do is to create a new environment for each project. Why? Two, a conda environment is a directory that contains a specific collection of conda packages that you have installed. For example, you may be working on a research project that requires NumPy 1.18 and its dependencies, while another environment associated with Infinished project has NumPy 1.12, perhaps because version 1.12 was the most current version of NumPy at the time the project finished. If you change one environment, your other environments are not affected. You can easily activate or deactivate environments, which is how you switch between them. So, to wrap it up. Create a new environment for each project. Be aware for the differences in Conda and PIP. 3. Only include the packages that you will actually need and update them properly only if necessary.